are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, we're only one weekend to the 2021 NFL season. And now we have a major outbreak of the virus on an NFL team. And I'm talking about the New Orleans Saints. Yes, apparently the Saints are super spreaders. And get this, guys. Every single person that tested positive got the jab. Every single one of them. Now, this is actually staff. That's conflicting reports. Um, ESPN is saying one player was involved in this. But um, I'll kick here, which, which we're going to be talking about here, doesn't actually mention the players. So, guys, check this out. It's a cluster. Fully vaccinated St. Staff tests COVID positive. The NFL has gone to great lengths. Some players argue extreme lengths to make life difficult for the unvaccinated. Yep, because if you're a player and you test positive for the virus, you you will be away from the team for 10 days. Now, if you got the jab and tested positive, you're only going to be out five days. It goes on, it says, and it is making this case for being vaccinated. The league has said the positive COVID-19 incidence rate among un unvaccinated players is seven times greater than vaccinated. It's accurate. The league released numbers where the incident rate among unvaccinated players was 2.2 percent, while vaccinated players had a 0.3 percent incident rate. Both negligible numbers by recent greater population comparisons. But saying there's seven times the incident in unvaccinated players testing positive sounds ominous. It fits a narrative that vaccinated good, unvaccinated bad. Now, get this. Six coaches and a staff nutritionist tested positive for COVID-19 within the last 36 hours. Outkick has confirmed. All of them are 100 percent per most calculators, were fully jabbed up. Now, our kick here is just showing seven ESPN shows eight. So maybe there's another player, too, that tested positive. But however, they all got the jab. Every single one of them. So, guys, you see the problem here. The NFL is pushing every player, all personnel, to get the jab, but one weekend, everybody that got the jab in this case, they all tested positive, all eight of them, all eight of them. But, you know, the league isn't going to say anything about it. We don't know the status of these people. Did they get sick? Did they have symptoms? I'm not really sure. But the NFL has gone out of their way to demonize uh, players and personnel that don't want to get the jab. Now, if you're not a player, you have no choice but to get the jab. But the sports media has been crucifying uh, people like Kirk Cousins, Cole Beasley, because they don't want to get the jab. Cam Newton either. And we know that players that don't get the jab, they're going to have a hard time actually trying to get employment going forward. Because it's all about the unjab people to the NFL. But in this case, out of all 30 teams or how many teams there are in the NFL, the Saints have the biggest outbreak in the league thus far. Eight people all jabbed up, tested positive. Now, I hope all these people are not going to have um, any any symptoms for the most part. Hopefully not. Hopefully everybody comes out um, pretty good here. Um, don't know the ages of these people. We just know that um, some of these people, I believe, were coaches on the staff. Now, that brings in something else. These coaches that actually uh, tested positive, they're in contact with these players all day long. But apparently it doesn't seem like they're spreading to the players that much. Uh, ESPN, like I said, has only reported one player testing positive. Outkick hadn't said anything. But let's read this here. It says, and the point here is is not to celebrate that vaccinated people also test positive or get sick. Never that. The point is to 
questioned Lee's narrative that unvaccinated people are a major problem and a root cause of outbreaks. Because the Saints coaching staff has an outbreak and none are unvaccinated. The league, by the other way, does not prefer the outbreaks as such. Dr. Alan Seals, the NFL's chief medical officer, says an outbreak only occurs when there's evidence of ongoing transmission within the, the club on an ongoing basis. Well, so, guys, what do you think of this? What do you guys think of the New Orleans Saints having a COVID outbreak this early in the season? All jabbed up. No unvaccinated personnel or players. I don't know the, the exact uh, percentage of the Saints. All their players fully jabbed up. Not really sure. The coaching staff, I'm pretty sure uh, they have to be fully jabbed up. They don't have the representation from a type of union that the players do. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white live fans. There you go, NFL. Fully jabbed people. Testing positive. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports or Black and White Live. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.